This video is a satire done for April Fools. I hope that's obvious. But don't worry, I'm not actually changing my format into this kind of clickbait. This entire video is a joke. And kind of a love letter to the rest of the War Thunder YouTubers. So I'm trying out a new review format more closely aligned with what actually gets views here on YouTube. Let's check out the Chinese J11. Today, we're gonna rock the J11, but before that, this video is brought to you by Brondo, the Thirst Mutilator. Do you like to break things with your face? Do you crave those electrolytes? Do you lose three IQ points every time you see a big red arrow in a YouTube thumbnail? Then you need to chug some Brondo, like right now. Plug it in your veins and bypass the digestion process. Brondo the Thirst Mutilator, it's got what plants crave. Anyway, the J11 was like, some Chinese copy of the Su-27. If AliExpress sold jet fighters, they'd sell the J-11. It's total copy pasta. But that's actually cool, because it means you can throw Su-27 skins on it and cover your plane in all kinds of nonsense. It's got a radar, but meh, the radar's kind of mid. Oh, and you have to use the square radar. Only noobs use that dumb pie thing. Turn that crap off and get good. The J-11 has tons of weapons, overflowing with missiles, like 10 of them, it's crazy. It can take bombs, but forget that noise. Bombs and stuff don't matter. The only thing that matters is your personal air-to-air, -air, kill-to-death ratio. Everything else is just copium for people who can't dogfight up at the S tier. The other thing with the J-11 is G-Lock. Blacking out is pretty much a way of life for the J-11, and you gotta own it. When you notice the G-Lock setting in, you gotta pull harder into the blackout, because if you don't, the other guy will. And as you're gonna see a few times in this video, blacked out blindfolded missile shots are what it's all about. Now, the J-11 gets the R-73E. This missile is beast mode. It can fly all over the place, and if you fire it at close range, it can even get people like 100 degrees off your nose flying off in weird directions. Check out the insane high off boresight shot I used to finish off this console player in an F-16. That F-16 had nothing. Dude didn't even know it was coming for him. Total skill issue, and he paid for it. This is another good one. I merged with this F-15. He's pre-flaring all over the place, and since my wingman has a skill issue, he couldn't get the shot through all the flares. But I came in over the top and sent the hobs from like one kilometer above him. And smack, another one back to hangar. And even though the radar is mid, the R27 ER1 is boss dog at medium range. This F16 totally got wrecked. Again, complete skill issue. He had no idea what to do with that missile coming for him. Uh, give it a minute. Boom! Now he's back to hangar where he belongs. Now, if those kills weren't enough for you on their own, I'ma give you the play-by-play -play on a match where I flew out and carried the team like a boss YouTuber. I realize my kill count is pretty low in this match, but it's a short one, cause you ain't got all day. Now, I'm coming in with a pro flank move and dunking R73 on this guy as I'm flying past the merge. He tried to flare off the shot, but I got the off-screen kill anyway. I turned back around to pick up the stragglers, but they decided that the thing to do would be to fly right into like seven of my teammates, so good luck with that one. I take a stray shot on this F-15, just in case my buddy's a moron, 
but his missile gets there first. No big deal, I can share. Then this F-16 tries to zip by me, so again I send in the shot, but again my missile gets there a split second after my teammates, so all I got was the assist. Now here you see me flying in on about six enemy players. It's almost a fair fight. The F-14 saw me coming though and begged to get team killed instead. Denied me some points, poor sportsmanship, but whatever. Now my teammates are busy off fighting those AI yak jets, so I go in on my own and take out this noob F-4S right off the bat, then drop an R-27 on that Gripen over on the left. He was too busy being awful and flew right into it. Watch this. Smack. Then I skip past these other guys to go support my buddy who's up ahead engaged with that one for one, but my buddy politely decided he wanted me to have the kill, so he went and got shot down. The 141 looks like he was trying some Vuitton nonsense, but my R73 eats that shit for dinner. Then I turn back around on the only two who are left. My teammates very thankfully kept them busy while I was punishing that Vtol guy. So I send another R27 in on this F16 for an easy kill. I'm totally G-locked and blacked out, but that's never held me back. So Fox won. Beautiful shot. I throw my last missile in on this Gripen from about three and a half kilometers away. No way for him to avoid the shot, and he's toast. Only six kills in this match, but I was trying to make it quick for you, and it was still enough to carry the team in barely three minutes of gameplay. Here, check out these kills that show off some times I was awesome, but give you absolutely no information at all about the play. Nice hustle, tons of fun. Next time, eat a salad. Shakalaka!
Where did you learn to fly? about done with the J11. Now make sure to hit subscribe and then immediately go binge on all of my playlists. I'll see you next time.